After years of abuse and death threats, a terrorized wife shot her husband while he slept. Was that self-defense? That was the question in State v. Stewart. Peggy and Mike Stewart married in 1974. Peggy already had two daughters. Mike abused Peggy and the girls. He hit and kicked Peggy once so severely that she had to be hospitalized. He threw her 12-year-old out of the house and ordered Peggy to kill the girl. He repeatedly threatened to kill Peggy with a shotgun, and he did kill her cat. Peggy experienced various psychological symptoms. In 1986, Peggy finally ran away to her adult daughter's house. Because she was suicidal, her daughter brought her to the hospital where Mike collected her. He threatened to kill her if she ever ran away again and repeatedly forced her to have violent oral sex. The next morning, Peggy found a loaded handgun. She hid it under the mattress in the spare bedroom. Throughout the day, Mike kept remarking that she wouldn't be there long, and she became afraid that he would kill her. That night, after Mike went to sleep, Peggy got the handgun and shot him. She then ran to a neighbor's house in her underwear to report what had happened. Peggy was tried for homicide. She argued that she'd acted in self-defense. Her defense expert testified that she was suffering from battered woman syndrome. The trial court instructed the jury on self-defense, and the jury found Peggy not guilty. Peggy's acquittal couldn't be appealed, but the state appealed to the Kansas Supreme Court to review the legal question. 